Hi students, so this is your instructions for assignment number 18 where you're going to continue to build your Google site or your website for your art practice. So first things first, I'm going to search Google sites. I want to make sure that I am logged in to my CPS Gmail. If you're in your personal Gmail, obviously the site is not going to come up. And so this is assignment number 18. If you haven't done assignment 15, you need to go back and do that. So stop this video, go back to assignment 15. If you have already uh, submitted and shared with me, I have it down here. I'm really excited with the things that I'm seeing. So I'm going to um, click on my website. So you will you should see yours down here in recent sites. You all have been working for about five weeks now on this art practice. And a website is a really good place to put together all of that work. And sometimes we need to kind of see all of our work. Um, to see like the growth that we have made. And so hopefully this will be um, a place where you can do that as well as share some of your reflections and it can help you build some skills for the future. Maybe you wanna have a business that you, have a, that you need a website for and you're gonna learn some skills here. The next thing that we're going to do is um, on this right side over here where it says pages, we're gonna click there. You all are required to have a few different pages for this website. So the first thing is I wanna change the name of this home page. So a home page on a website is the page that you land on when you go to the website. We're going to change the name of this by clicking on these three dots to the right of the word home. And then I'm going to go to properties. Right now it says home. I'm going to change that to about me or bio. You can choose what you want. I'm going to do about me. And later I'll have you write down a little description. But for now about me is fine. And you're going to add a couple more pages. So to add a page, you go to this plus sign at the bottom. We're going to add a new page. And the first one that I want you to add is your inspiration or resources. You can call it either one. So maybe you've been doing hair and you want to put a bunch of visual images of um, hairstyles that you were inspired by. And actually, I've been inspired because I saw one of the students already did that in last week's assignment. So that was awesome and it helped me to learn. For my resources, that could be where you put the YouTube pages that you've used, websites that you use, but you're going to kind of gather them all on this one page. So I'm going to hit done. And then I'm going to see up at top here, I um, am able to select my different pages. So when my website goes live, I'll be able to do that going to add another page. This one I'm going to call my art or art practice. So I'm going to just put art practice here. And again, you'll see that comes up on the menu bar and those turns in, into little buttons that you can press. And then the last one you're going to call reflection. All right, so those are all of the pages that I'm requiring. As we move forward, if you want to change the names of them, I think I'll be okay with that. But for now, I want to see you do each of those. So after you're done with that, you're going to go back to your themes. And now I want you to think about how do you want your page to look? So they've given you some options here. The simple is the default. I would like you to change from the default. Um, we don't want to use the first thing that they give us. We want to use our own creativity, our own aesthetic. So Right now, this one is sticking out to me. Again, you get to pick whatever you want. And I'm going to look at these different fonts. I think I like that heavy font. I like a sans serif font as opposed to a serif font. Remember, sans serif fonts feel a little more modern. They don't have those little um, curves at the bottom. We had just learned about that before we left. And I think I'm going to change the color so I can click on this paint bucket and you guys know me, I kind of like those pastel colors. So I'm going to see if I can get something kind of cool and pastel like that feels really gray. And I think it'll change based on the background. So for now, I'm not going to mess with that. Um, but I do want you to change the font, the color and the theme. The last thing that you're going to do is I want you to go back to your pages and click back to your about me page. OK, so on this page, if you hover over this banner right here, you have some options around header types. So you can look at these. If I hit cover, that's going to be the full page. When you come to my website, it's going to look like this. I can also do large banner or banner. I decided that I wanted to do banner for mine. Now I'm going to go back. And the last thing I'm going to have you do today to your site is to find an image that you want when someone comes to your website. So I would suggest this be an original image of 
of one of your pieces of artwork. If you want to go online and find something that you think represents you or your artwork, you can do that. What I don't want you to do is there's an option when you go to change image, it'll say select image. I don't want you to pick pick one of these from the gallery. Those are the ones that they give us and oh actually they are kind of cool, but I'd like you to go find your own. So go into um Go to Google Images and find something, or in my case, I'm going to upload something. So I decided my website is going to be about this experiment in creating an art practice. What I did is I took some images from some of the work that you all have submitted, and in Photoshop, I turned it into a little collage can see here. Um, and so what I'm going to actually do with my website is explain this whole art practice project. All right, that's kind of cool for now. In this Google Sites assignment number 18, attached to this is a Google Site checklist and it's just going to look like a um, Google slide and what you're going to do is as you complete each step you're going to use these little check marks to make sure that you've done this. I know that I renamed mine um, about me so I'm going to grab one of these and I'm going to put it right over there. My internet's running very slow Okay, and then I did my inspire. I know I did my inspiration or resources, so I'm going to grab another one and put it there. I created a page called Art or Art Practice. So once you're done, you're going to bring all of these over there, and then I'll see that you're actually looking at your own work, just like in class we use checklists. We're going to also use them here. It helps us to stay organized. Um, you've already shared your website with me, so when you are done, you can just go ahead and mark this assignment as done. You can also follow along with written instructions. All right, good luck. I'm excited to see what you all come up with. Um, I've been very happy with the work so far.